Mm. That's still quite hot. Now, most of us need a cup of coffee to start the day, but what if we can put some alcohol in that? Today, we're gonna make booze with coffee. If you're a student like me, I bet you like to drink. On this channel, I'm gonna tell you all about making your own wine, meat, and all kinds of stuff. This is Dom Drinks. Welcome back guys. Today, we're gonna make booze with coffee. Now, I don't have a coffee machine here at my house, but I do have some instant coffee, even two kinds. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make two kinds and two sorts of coffee drinks. We're gonna make regular black, and we're gonna make cappuccino. Now, this is how we're gonna do it. We have our one liter bottle here again. We have two of them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna boil a liter of water, and in that we're gonna dissolve the granules and we're gonna add sugar. The sugar is necessary for the yeast to ferment and by the amount of sugar we can also calculate the ABF. Now I already did one pan so it will be easier for you but I'm gonna show you with the other one which will be the cappuccino one how we're gonna do this. So first things first we're gonna clean this out get our stove here so we can boil one liter of water. We have our pan going and it's starting to boil and what we're going to do now is add the instant coffee. Now you have to look per instant coffee how much you're going to use for about a liter but you're going to want to do that on the heavy side. Uh, because it's fermenting it will probably get a little bit of a different taste so if you make it a strong strong cup of coffee it will be better in the end product. So for this we're going to need 5 teaspoons per 150 liter, uh, milliliters. So we're going to calculate that and add that to this. I calculated a bit and I'm going to use 13 tablespoons of this stuff. So I'm going to add that to this and after that I'm going to tell you about the sugar that we're going to add. So we added all the powder to this. Um, to give you a little tip, it's going to boil over if you just add it. So I would uh, add it off the heat and then bring it on the heat again. That's a tip for you guys. Uh, it was too late for me, I'm afraid. So uh, I had to take it off the heat, add the, add the rest of the powder, and then bring it back to the heat. Um, now we added all the powder to this. What I'm going to use is a whisk to whisk it all away because, of course, there's going to be some clutter, some clutter, or something else. We'll see how it um, we're going to whisk it away on this for a few minutes or uh, for a minute and after that we're going to add the sugar. So I had a little bit of a calculation. Um, this is cappuccino powder so there is some sugar in there but the normal black coffee doesn't have any sugar in there already. So what I'm going to do is the following. I'm going to add to both of these, to this one and to that one, 204 240 grams of sugar. Oh, it's going again. So I'm gonna add that now to this one, and I already added that to the other one, like that. And we're gonna whisk in the sugar in the cappuccino mixture. And after we whisk this in, we're going to let it cool. We're going to let it settle until it's a nice normal temperature, slightly above room temperature. And then we can add our pitched yeast. I already pitched yeast earlier. Uh, what I use today is, again, an all-purpose wine yeast. And I pitched that with some nutrients and a little bit of uh, sugar. So it can already start up a bit. So I'm whisking the sugar in and I will get back to you in, I think, somewhere around an hour and in that time this will have settled down to a normal cooler temperature and we can bottle this we can bottle the other coffee and uh, we can add our pitch cheese before that I will make a uh, I will make a calculation for both this and the other one to see what gravity it is and we can use that later on to see the end gravity so we can calculate a bit I made a slight calculation with the meat that we bottled last week and it should be around 9% for now. Uh, however, it might change so I'm going to check it again when we actually bottle it. 
and uh, that will tell us our actual ABF at the end of the bowling. So I'll see you in about an hour and then we're going to bottle this and uh, set it away to ferment. So these two are properly cooled down. Now what we're going to do is we're going to clean the bottle with a solution of uh, tartaric acid and sulfide powder and after that we're going to put these into the bottle and then we're going to calculate with this in the hydrometer to see what the gravities of both are and after that we can add the yeast and this can ferment for two weeks. So we're going to clean the bottle. I had a bit of a calculation with the hydrometer and the cappuccino mixture comes out at a gravity 1.08 uh, and the black coffee comes out at a gravity of 1.084. Now what we're going to do is add the pitched cheese to this and we're going to fill it up until it's nice and high with a little headspace and after that we're going to pop on the balloons and it's ready for them to settle. So we're going to add the pitched cheese for now. Both of them are in the bottle with the pitch cheese. We have the cappuccino and the black coffee. And now all that's left for me to do is pop some balloons on them and put them away. Now after this I'm going to tell you how to put a wine into secondary and what we're going to add to that. So I'll see you in a few seconds. Last week I wanted to show you how we transferred our meat into secondary. But we had some complications. However, today I'm going to show you how we put our wine into secondary. So what we're going to need for this is a new bottle and some cleaning solution. That's what we're going to start with. We're going to clean this bottle out, give it a good few shakes and then rinse it out again and then we're going to put the grape juice or actually wine by now into this bottle. So we're going to start with that. We cleaned out the bottle and now we're going to put the wine into the new bottle. However, Mostly with wines, they age on oak barrels. So what we're going to do, we're going to add some oak chips to the second bottle and let it sit there for a month or maybe longer. After that, when we, put it, when we actually bottle it, we're going to have to strain it so the oak chips won't come out and it probably would give a better flavor to our wine. So that's what we're going to do first. The oak chips that I'm using are uh, just normal oak chips. They're not toasted, not burnt, uh, but we can do that in any other video later on. As you can see, we added a little layer of oak chips on the bottom of the bottle. Now we're going to put the wine in here so it can age. We're going to pour this wine into the second bottle. Now this isn't the best technique to use. However, it's simple and it's fast and yeah, simple and fast. That's it actually. Next, in some next videos like with the apple cider, I'm going to show you a better technique which involves tubing. Now what we're going to do is we're going to play, place the funnel into the second bottle and we're going to very carefully pour our wine into the second bottle. Now as you can see when you make this wine is that there's some sediment at the bottom of the bottle and we're going to try to keep as much of that out of the new bottle. So we're going to be very careful. So, we poured our wine into the new bottle. We're going to take this one out of here for now. And as you can see in the other bottle, there's still some black sediment left in here. Now we're not going to use this, we're just going to rinse this out, clean the bottle and we're going to use it for some other video as well. And this bottle, we're going to cap again with a, with a balloon. And after that we can leave it on the shelves for with the wood I would say a few months. Now normally within a month it's quite settled and you can bottle it however we're going to try to get those wood flavors into our wine as well so we're going to give it a few months on the shelf and hopefully by then we would have a nice enjoying wine. All that's left for me to do now is cap it with balloon. Our wine is done and now all that's left for me to say is thank you very much for watching you can subscribe or you can follow me on a few social medias which are going to appear here, Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. And you can always email me at dawndrinkshow at gmail.com. Now all that's left for me to say 
a string save and a good day.